Hey guys, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. Today we are in our video series about collecting seeds from different flowers and we are doing zinnias today. So like the other flowers, you are going to pick them when they are either dry completely on the plant or if you've got a flower that's kind of on its way out, at that point you can take it. So I'll give you an example here. So this flower here is pretty much completely dry and we can take that right off the plant. And then we've got other ones over here that are starting to look distressed and those ones are also going to be taken off the plant and we're going to save the seeds as you can see over here this one's getting dry as well so we are just going to grab a pair of shears and when we put them in the house or let them dry for a couple weeks either on a piece of newspaper we're going to put ours in paper bags don't forget to label what each flower is this way that you know what they are so we're going to go ahead and harvest those so like I said, we're just taking the head of that off and we're going to throw it in the paper bag and we're going to let it sit in the house for a couple weeks. So we will see you in a couple weeks once these are completely dry and uh, we'll show you how to save these seeds. Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. Today we are focusing on our flower saving seed days and we are doing zinnias. So I had my zinnias drying in a paper bag similar to the other days, but I actually took them out and spread them out. Um, they were just really, really big heads. Like some of them were the size of my entire hand. And I found in the bag, they were squishing each other and I wanted to make sure that they were actually drying out and not keeping that moisture in between them. So I took them out and I spread them out just to dry them. So zinnias are super easy to save seeds as well. This pretty much goes for any um, type of zinnia. You want to clip them off the plant like I showed you because at the bottom of each petal is where you're going to find the seeds. So we've got this variety here. That was one of the like pom-pom varieties there. And what you're going to do is you go to the bottom of each petal and on the bottom of each petal, you're going to rip it off. And at the bottom of each petal, you've got this arrow looking um, thing that's your seed so we can actually just use our fingers and get rid of the petal and here is our seed here so you want to make sure your seeds are dark they're like at least like a dark dark um, green to brown to black those are seeds that are ready to be planted if you had a head that wasn't fully dry or wasn't fully ready to be harvested then that seed's going to come out green and the chances are you're going to have a harder germination than you would when they're dark so again here's a different variety of zinnia here beside it if i go in as you can hear everything's dry and crunchy so if you pull off one of these petals from the bottom, just pull it out here. And at the bottom, there is your arrow. And that is your, essentially your seed. So we're just gonna take off again, take off that. And there's your, now that's a little too green. It is dry, um, but I don't love the color of that. So if we go to like another one just here, Like I said, they probably will germinate as long as they're dry. You just, we're looking for a little bit darker of a color is better. Like this is a dark green. You don't want like a lime green, I guess is what I'm going for there. But yeah, here are your zinnia seeds. So pretty cool. They're a little bit more like more of the time consuming one because you have to take the petal off of every single seed. But otherwise, saving zinnias are super easy, just like every other seed. See, there you go. You just pull off each petal. So we will talk to you tomorrow on our next day of saving seeds. Bye.